All right, last time we saw Channel 3's Caitlin Francis, she was showing us how to strip and prepare kitchen cabinets so you can repaint them. Well, yeah. Caitlin is back now to show us what's next in the process. Yeah. And I absolutely love the fact that you picked your dress to match the cabinets. Uh, you know, is this feel like your favorite color? <laughs> Your, even, your, even your eyeshadow is this color. It's, uh, I'm all like neutral. It's like fall neutral, right? <laughs> it's very beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. You look beautiful yourself. Well, thank you. You're so welcome. All right, so hang on. Look at you, Bob Vila. You're hired. Very good. I, I don't have a job anymore. Hello, is this thing on? Hello. Mike, check one too. All right, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> No, you're, you're a pro. Look at you. I, Literally anybody can do this, Anybody right? can do this, which is just the point that we're trying yeah. to make here. All right, so what's the next step in the process? Okay, so you're standing in front of the cabinet that we stripped last time. So that's the chemically stripped cabinet. Okay. And I want to point out, because I think we can see it, there's numbers there. On the oh, so yeah, 13, 13. 13. Pro tip for all of you friends at home, uh, when you're taking cabinet doors and drawers off, to refinish them, make sure that you're labeling them so that you know which when, which, where they which go back. hardware goes back on which hardware. Or, you know, which. Oh, which, ca which cabinet it yeah. goes Yeah. What a great idea that yeah, is. Yeah, isn't that? Uh, it's just, you know, fun Look, fact. This one's 24 24. Yep. And then, so I've. Okay, so here, that's the sanded version. Okay. So you were working on that okay. with the sander. And then there's. You find some knots in the wood. So I used this not primer. So uh, all you do is go outside, low wind, you don't want it to be blown back in your face, but just spray the knots so that they don't bleed through the paint. So you don't want knots, you, you want, want not to have knots no, in your not cabinets. Knots, yeah. no, no not knots. No not knots. Okay, very good. Exactly. All right. Um, I mean, if you like the look of it, I guess go for it, or if you want it to be more natural looking, but I liked to have it Now let me ask you a question. Looking. You're gonna paint these, you're gonna paint over the numbers? So yes, here we go, ready? Um, here, you can sort of see it, it's hard to see on the camera, but there's little paint. I took some painter's tape okay. and covered it. Now the hardware is gonna go back over this, so it's not gonna matter if the paint's not there. Uh. So I just covered it with some painter's tape and I'll peel it back over when I'm ready to put the hardware back on. Isn't that fascinating? That's so cool. This is a, this is very clever. So here's the I primed the knots here. One coat of paint sanded it back down. So used a block. You can just take your block sander, sand right over the uh, primer, okay. and then you want to make sure this is the spray stuff you put on. Yep, you spray it and then sand over it. Then you're going to take. Okay, so here's another pro tip. If you're going to keep painting, just wrap it in some plastic wrap. And it stays. And then that way it doesn't dry out. You can continue using the paint brushes or paint rollers. Do you have to wash them before you put them in the saran wrap? Or you just nope. even, just with the paint on them, put them yeah. right in saran wrap? I know, right? And then that way it saves you a ton of time because it takes forever. To clean the paint? To clean your paint brushes. Right, especially if you're going to keep using them over and over and over again. Yeah, just take I've just a been wrapping them. That's and amazing. They've been working like a charm. So you get into all the grooves, get the uh, tops, all the edges. And then, so this cabinet is actually, this cabinet door is super easy compared to what I was working with last time. You just gotta get into these uh, little corners. Okay. One coat of paint, and then you take your sander again. I don't know if you wanna try it. Now, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Are you doing the back as well? Yeah. You gotta do the back so that the, everything looks nice. So when you open the door, it oh, all looks the same, right? Well, that's really something. Yeah. <laughs> Professional. Thank you. Second coat of paint after you sand it. Second coat of paint after you sand it. Yep. So you paint it, then you sand it. Then you sand it again. Sand it again. So this is sanded after the second coat of paint. You see that uh, yep. little primer knot. coming yep. through. Coming through, and um, th that way, it's all nice and smooth. Isn't that great? So when you put the second coat of paint on, it rolls on nice and even. And then what I'll do from here is probably sand it again. Put a third coat of paint on. Wow, you're really doing the paint there. Yeah. What kind of paint do you use? Um, this is Benjamin Moore. Benjamin Moore. Moore. That's yep. what I use in my house. I'm telling yep. you, it's the best paint. So I've been going and getting it pre-mixed, so I've been doing primer with the color. Okay. I also heard Bears from Home Depot. Their mm -hmm. own line of paint is also supposed to be ranked very high. Kara is looking at me. 
Like I have I'm six heads. I'm a Ben Moore girl. I really like it. I am it. a Ben, ben Moore guy. It, it does cost a little bit more, but all the professionals say it's worth it because yes, you save it in time. Okay, very well, good. There you go. Whatever yeah. you prefer. Whatever. All right. And anything else you have for us? I mean, it's super easy. It takes a little bit of time to go from from, from this? The, the stripping to. And you absolutely recommend taking the cabinets off the wall, off the oh, cabinets. Yeah, I would say take the hardware off. You don't off. do it this way. Don't, yeah, don't sand and okay, do it while good. it's all hanging out. All right.